Hi guys, I'm Karen Cavett. Welcome back to HGTV Handmade. So flamingos are such a trendy trend <laughs> this summer that today we are actually going to be making wall hooks out of lawn flamingos. These are really cute, a little unexpected. Here's how to make them. For these, you'll need a small lawn flamingo, which you can buy online. You'll also need a small saw. Start cutting about halfway through the flamingo's body and carefully cut all the way down. You can use your scissors to cut the last little bit and then use your scissors to trim down any rough spots. This is what your flamingo should look like once you're done cutting. Now grab a piece of thick, sturdy cardboard. Trace the back of the flamingo onto it, but before you cut it out, draw and cut out a hole to be able to hang it up. Then cut out the oval, and you'll need to keep trimming it down until it fits nice and snug into the end of the flamingo. Once it fits in there, put a generous line of hot glue all the way around the inside, and then press the cardboard into place. Then add more hot glue to the outside, smoothing it down with the tip of your glue gun as you go. Once it's in place, you shouldn't be able to see it from the side. Now this part is optional, but I decided to paint mine. Of course, you can paint it any color you like, but I'm using pink chalk paint to get a nice pastel matte finish. I did three coats of paint to make sure there weren't any streaks, and once that was dry, I used yellow chalk paint to paint the top half of the beak, and again, I did two coats to get it totally opaque. And then finally, I used black chalk paint to clean up any pink and yellow that got onto the bottom of the beak and to paint the tip of the beak. And of course, to paint the flamingo's eyes to finish it off. Once you're done painting, it should look like this, and then you're done. Just hang it up on a thumbtack or a nail, and you can hang up your jewelry in a really fun, summery way. Hang them up high for necklaces, or down low for bracelets. So I would love to know in a comment right down below how you're decorating your room for the summer, or if you've made any fun flamingo crafts lately. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.